So, um, assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, welcome to the second tutorial for, uh, for probability. Uh, my name is Munif Rizvi. I hope all of you are doing well. And um, with regards to this tutorial, we have around six questions. I've purposely put some, um, some which are very easy because I want your participation in um, the tutorial as well. So there will be some questions that will be more easier than the others. And for that, like, I would love to have as much particip uh, participation as I can from all of you. Okay. So if you are more, you can talk on the chat or you can just unmute yourselves and then um, just say the answer, whatever works for you. So um, ideally as much involvement as I can, that would be great. One thing I would also want to add is that the meeting will end um, in 40 minutes. So if it does end, don't worry, just join from the same link that I sent you because like, I don't have the premium zoom, right? So, um, yeah, you just have to join uh, from the previous link. I'll start the, the new call in like 30 seconds post it, uh, post it. Next. So, yeah. so now that's, um, all done. One last, uh, one more thing that I just remembered. The thing with probability is that there are a lot of ways to do a certain question. So ideally what I would prefer right now is um, if there's with the method that, that I'm doing right now, if there's anything that you might not get, please do question me. Please do let me know why I'm doing a certain method. You uh, will be more than welcome to do any other method. But if you want to discuss why we haven't used this method or what's wrong with this certain method, um, let's just go over this after the tutorial because we have a lot of content and sort of variants of questions that we need to cover. So I'll be available post the tutorial and we can go over your certain method after uh, the tutorial ends. Okay, perfect. So um, I'll start now. So the, um, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to read the question because so, so will I. Card is in a case and the other one. Take a, so what they're trying to say essentially is that you um, essentially get two cards. Like one of them will be an ace and the other one will be either uh, a 10, a, um, a 10, a jack, a queen or a king. So um, what is the probability of like um, you getting these cards? So. Um, if I ask you on the chat, what are the total possibilities um, of um, two card options that you can get in, in like a deck? What would it be? In terms of a notation, what would that notation be? Absolutely. Uh, 52 C2. Perfect. I would, again, you're more than welcome if you want to um, add bits to the tutorial if you want. So. I'm going to write it here. Um, total possibilities are 50, uh, 52 C2. Perfect. Now, if I ask you um, the total number of times you can get an ace in a deck, how many times you can get an ace? It seems pretty forward. You have four aces in a deck, so you'll have four, right? Perfect. So similarly, um, what is, uh, how many times can you either get a 10, a jack, a queen, or a king? I know I'm missing a crucial step in the middle, but if you can directly give the answer, that would be great too. 16. Very good. 16. 16 is because if you want a 10, you have four possibilities of a 10. Same with jack, same with queen, uh, queen and king. So four into four. That's, um, so this will be um, 16. So essentially, if I just have to break it down in the end, it will basically be my um, answer should be not this. It should be four into sixteen into fifty-two C two. That is my answer to the question that they have. Like, what's the probability that one of the cards is an ace and the other one is either a ten, queen, jack? Okay, it's fairly straightforward. Um, we will do more questions, uh, difficult questions, but this is just, just to sort of start the process, I guess. If there are any questions, please do let me know. So we're done with question one. Okay, we're, we're starting question two. Um, yeah, I'll give you guys 10 seconds to read it. Can you explain the solution to question one? Okay. So in question one, I'm just going to do it verbally now. So um, the question said we can either 
what's the probability of us getting an ace and either a 10 jack king or queen pehle hum ace ko dekhte hain fir hum baaki charon ko dekhenge what's the probable um, how many times can you get an ace in a 52 deck card four kyunki you have four different sets basically um so tar aapka wahan se aa gaya ab ek 10 ya ek jack aap kitni dafa aa sakta hai wo bhi char dafa aa sakta hai but they said or a 10 a jack king or queen alongside an ace so that's 4 into 4 to get four times you can either get a 10 and because there are four different cards so 4 into 4 16 now 16 multiplied by the number of times you can get an ace which is 16 into 4 divided by the total um um chances of a two deck um of you what are the total number of combinations that you can get if you pull out two cards from a 52 card deck that's 52 c2 so 16 into 4 Divided by fifty-two C two. Okay. Um, if you want to add anything to it, you are more than welcome to. So, question two. I'll start. I'll start writing all the import, um, important bits right now. Um, so, their total, their hundred students. So. Also, I apologize if my writing is terrible. This is not the setup that I usually write on. So please bear with me. So um, there are total hundred students in the school. Twenty eight are enrolled in the Spanish class. I'm going to note, denote that as um, S. Twenty eight are in, in Spanish. Uh, French has twenty six, and German has um sixteen. Um, there are students who study both Spanish and French. So, usually, uh, thought this is S intersection. Um, yeah, um, S in. Yeah. So there are students who are in both Spanish and French. Yeah, S intersection F, but I'm going to denote that as S F. Okay. Um, I can't see the number of students that are students. Okay. So S F is equal to twelve. Likewise, S G is four. And um, F G is um, six. Finally, you have people who are taking all three classes, which are two. So S F G. Note the notation. Um, essentially, doesn't really matter. I can write. I could have written this as F S. Don't be like too bothered. So now, uh, what is the question asking me for? If a student is chosen randomly, what is the probability that he or she is not in any of the language classes? ठीक है, so I need to find essentially. Uh, this is the union sign. Is this is not you? Yes, basically. Um, I need to find um this probability. So I'm just gonna do one thing particularly, and that is. I know for a fact that the total number of students is hundred. So one formula that I know that can help me in terms of set notations is the union and intersection formula, which um, which basic um, which basically says P of S union F union G is equals to uh, P S plus P um, F. This. Not so used to it. Um, P J. Um, minus all the intersections. S F. Minus two. This is P right. Wait, what am I doing? This is P. S S F minus P S D. Minus P, F G, plus um, the inter um, the intersection of all three, S F J. Any confusions in that? Okay, lovely. So, how do you find the probability of S? If told you that the total number of students is hundred, and the total number of students who are enrolled in Spanish is twenty eight. So, so only the upper the probability of Spanish is twenty eight upon hundred, right? So, um, I'll give you guys. I want you guys to calculate this. I will move this 
a bit upwards. If you want, I can zoom out a bit as well. But I need you guys to tell me what's the value of S union F union J. Or similarly, likewise, what will be the value of the question um, of what the question is asking us? I'll give, I know, I've done the calculations by myself, but I want you guys to work. You can either first tell me the answer of the union, and then you just have to like subtract like one minus that answer, and that and that is basically what you're supposed to get. So essentially it should be exactly um, well enough. Thank you, Weil and Sana. I, I'm sorry if I haven't pronounced your name, right? If, um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so based on that, thank you. So um, this answer should be 0. 0.5, the union and one minus answer is 0. 0.5. One key takeaway from this is they can easily try to trick you and say that there's no, Basically, you can't assume things. They make an intersection, uh, they make a Venn diagram basically, and they assume that there's nothing outside of this Venn diagram. Part A, you had a very nice question in which they had told you in part A that there is a possibility that um, there, there are students who haven't enrolled in anything. Okay? So you just need to be ca uh, cautious of it. Don't directly assume that there won't be any complement elements, um, so to speak, of universal complement uh, elements, so to say. Okay. Now part B says, if a student is chosen randomly, what is the probability that he or she is taking exactly one language class? Now, um, note when we said, right, S is equal to 28, F is equal to 26, G is equal to 16. They didn't mean only S. They meant the entire circle or section in which uh, a student is taking Spanish. So that also includes people who might have taken Spanish and French or Spanish and German or Spanish and French and German, right? So we need to sort of uh, take that bit out so that we can find the only elements in everything. Now I'll say this again. This is a very common question. You will find various variants of this question um, across the internet. And they're around from what I saw, there were like six ways to do this question. However, with that being said, I'm going to tell you the method that I found the easiest and I'll, I'll do that right now. Okay. So the method that I found very easy to do was basically, so um, what was P, uh, what, what was the probability, uh, how many students were there who took all three subjects, S, S, F, G, there were two, right? So I'm going to try to make a Venn diagram right now. I apologize if this might be terrible, but the idea is I know for sure that this is two, right? Now, what was S intersection F? Now, SF was 12, right? Um, let me just check, yeah, SF was 12. And at the same time, SG was four and FG was six, right? But SFG was two. So in terms of um, di diagram notion, SF, if I denote this as green, right? Uh, bad circle, money. I'll circle again. This is basically this bit, right? So that, that has the intersection bit. Of it. I need to take that out. So one thing I can do is SF minus um, two, which is the intersection is basically 10. And that basically gives me just this bit. And just the bit that's intersection, um, that has an intersection with um, S and F but it doesn't have any elements of G. Likewise, I'm going to do the same with FG and SG. So SG minus two will be two and FG minus two will be four. Now, what are these elements? Here, if I denote them here, they're basically this bit, this bit and this um, highlight says anywhere. So it's basically all of these intersections, but it doesn't include the intersections of all three, right? It doesn't have um, this bit in it, right? It doesn't have this bit. So 
I've done step one. So in my eyes, now the only logical step I have to do is if I want this element, right? Just S. I have to take away all this intersection. Bit. And if I get to do that, I'll find the only elements in S, F, and G, all three at the same time without having to do a lot. So what's the total of all these um, soul intersections? It's 10 plus two plus four, that is 16, right? I know for a fact that this entire class, the, the people that are taking all these three subjects is 50 because we proved in the last part that the people who aren't taking any subject, they're 50. So, bache kitne? 50. On 50 may say, sola log hai, that are either taking SF, SG or FG, right? So, uh, I subtracted by 16, jo basically ye wala bit hai, jo basically ha, ye wala bit hai, and I have to subtract this as well by two, which is solely the bit here in the middle. Like that's the intersection of all three. If I do that, this is what I think. 50 minus 18, that's I think 32. I'm not sure. I think that's 32. Yeah, that's 32. So essentially, what is this value giving me? That's giving me the value of just S, like this bit here, this bit here, and this bit here just S, F and G, because I've taken away everything that's common between either of these three elements. So I will only get a summation of all those three um, um, sets that are only taking one class. Now note, you could have also divided them into certain events. You could have used any other formula, but in my eyes, it's much easier if you subtract all the intersections because you will get a direct answer and you are hundred percent sure that it's right based on solid common sense. I hope I sincerely hope. So are there any quest, uh, questions in how I did this method? Again, I'll reiterate this. There are a lot of methods to do this question, but this is what makes the most sense to me. If not, I'm going to move to part C. So part C says if two students are chosen randomly, also just by the way, I, I took 32, right? So 32 divided by 100, but since the probability, it didn't say the number. So you have to divide it by the total number of people that's 100. So the answer will be 0 0.32. So part C says if two students are chosen randomly, what is the probability that at least one is taking a language class? Right, okay, so this is okay, this will be part C. Okay. So now they've changed it up a bit. So now they're saying what's the probability of at least one? One student taking a course. Now, Suli Tobe, what's the entire set that they're talking about? It could be people who are taking one subject. It could be people who are taking two subjects. It could be people who are taking three. Sabka individually compute karna, I personally think it would take time. Although I have the values, it would take me time. But one thing I've learned as a hack um, in prob courses, particularly, is if they say, if they said at least one, right? So this is the easiest method if you take one minus one. So, Usually at least statements. So if I have to do, um, if I have to rearrange this, what would, uh, what would this probability statement now turns out? One minus the probability of someone not taking any course, right? I hope, I hope that's clear. Again, you will find various variants in which people will divide them into events. Event one, the probability, uh, the, the chance of how many people were taking one subject, two subjects, three subjects, and then you find the union of all these three events. But for me, this is the, uh, this makes the, I, I won't have to work as much to get this. That's, that's all I'm trying to say. So now I have to uh, find a term for this probability. How many people are not taking a single uh, course? That's 50, right? I think that's 50. Take up. So what did the question particularly say again? If two students are chosen randomly, maybe I was about to write 50. That's 50. It's not 50. The question says if two students are chosen randomly, so I select two students. So I have to select two students. 
टू स्टूडेंट्स करना बहुत जरूरी है because that basically changes the structure of the question and if we just looked at the whole now we are like we are picking two people uh, randomly from this entire set so what is the probability of two students not taking a course uh, how many people are not taking a course 50 theek hai so 50 mein se mujhe do do log pick karna hai so that's is abhi main khali is term ko expand kar raha hu this will be 50 the, the target audience that i have is 50 c2 divided by the total number of possibility of you picking two students out of 100 so that's 100 c2 so essentially my answer is 51 uh, 52 divided by 100 i i don't have this calculated but i'll just check so 50 c2 is 1225 One two two five divided by hundred. That's forty nine upon um one ninety. So one minus that that will be one forty nine divided by ninety eight. I am very confident in this being the right answer, um because how else will will I do it? But one thing I know for a fact is, अगर मैं ये तो वन से बड़ा है, जी ये तो वन से बड़ी वैल्यू आ रही है वन फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइड बाई वन वन पॉइंट फाइव टू आ रही है अच्छा वन नाइनटी एट सॉरी माय बैड माय नो दैट्स फाइन इट्स कंप्लीटली ओके माय फ्रेंड सो गुड सो वन माइनस व्हाटेवर द आंसर आई आई गोट व्हिच वाज आई थिंक फोर्टी नाइन डिवाइड बाई वन नाइनटी एट सो द आंसर इज वन फोर्टी � वन थिंग आई कैन से फॉर अ फैक्ट दैट कि अगर मैं इंडिविजुअली इवेंट्स में डिवाइड करते हैं ना कि एक इवेंट दो इवेंट और फिर तीन इवेंट के लाइक कितने लोग एक क्लास में सबको और फिर उनका यूनियन लेता बिकॉज़ दिस वैल्यू इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड राइट तो आपकी वर्किंग पर बहुत बड़ी होनी थी सो दिस इज अ गुड ट्रिक के इफ यू डोंट वांट टू एक्सपेंड इट ट्राई टू लुक फॉर अ वे एंड यू कैन गेट द वन माइनस ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन ओके अम आल्सो जस्ट बाय द वे अ लॉट ऑफ दीस क्वेश्चंस आर फ्रॉम द बुक So, if you feel like these are good questions for you to practice on, you are more than welcome to find uh, to do questions from the book. I think you will find solutions um, variable uh, type ke um, online as well. I hope there are no questions to this because I think we're done with this question now. If there are, please do let me know. If not, I'm going to move to the next question. I'll give you guys a bit, a bit more detail on this if you want. Okay, so I yeah, um, this question is fairly easy. I'm um for me, for me, and I apologize if it might not be for you. Um, I hope it is. I hope it is. So um, I I want you guys to answer this if possible. So part A. So the question says you have hundred items out of which four are defective. Say so, so defective is four. Defective is four. Okay. um take okay, now you have four and four two items are chosen at random so you have you're going to pick one and then you're going to pick um another one abhi ye nahi bataya ki with replacement or without replacement uh what is the probability of selecting two defective items of the first if the first item is not replaced so this is without replacement theek hai um so part a someone answered 4c2 divided by 100c2 the thing is i can't directly answer in that way i am more used to the The, the the quote on quote logical way, um, I I'll I'll just check from the numerical value if this is right or not. So, in in my eyes, how I would have done this is, um, early bari me how many defective items can there be four divided by hundred. So without replacement, so ये निकाल के बचे ninety nine और फिर उसमें भी दूसरा defective है तो that means three upon ninety nine. That is um, how I would do. It. Then like, you did the exact same method that I would do. So. Good on you, my friend. So, abhi me, I'll just check. Um, divide by hundred C two. One point two one two minus three. So that's twelve upon ninety nine hundred. Yeah, yeah. Kaim, you have the right answer. Acha, you assume. Because same answer, you are okay. Either way, um. As long as again, you could do the C one method. Personally speaking, based on 
me studying math for six years now, um, A levels and university side, I am not comfortable with the C method, uh, like the five, like ten C two method because I I I always have a habit or tendency to get things wrong if I do that. So if you are if you have a firm grasp on it, do that. I am personally more comfortable using this. So yeah, um, part B two defective items. If the first I, it automatically assumes that you're not replacing. Exactly. So, um, two defective. Uh, if the first item is put back before choosing the second, so this is with replacement. So you, it's going back. So it's all okay, now four upon hundred multiplied by four upon hundred. Okay, okay, great. So, two defectives. If the first item is put back before choosing the second item, yeah, yeah, yoga. So part C. I'm not writing this. If you want me to write this, please mention this in the chat. Also, just by the way, I will upload the workings notebook after this, so don't worry about this. Okay, I'll I'll like screenshot it and I'll upload the PDF of this working as alongside the solutions, and after making this neat and pretty. So the part C says one defective and one non-defective if the first item is not replaced. I know there's a cast to this. I want you guys to answer this, or at least show me the working on how um, we're supposed to do this. I'll wait. What is the one liner answer for this? Because he ups one line no ho jayega. The question says if one defective and one non defective, if the first item is not replaced, 4C1 into 99C1 upon 100C2. 4 upon 100 into. Okay. Um, personally, I am not sure about um, the. 4C1 into 99C1 method. Again, we'll have calculations. But with that being said, um, I saw one person who did it wrong. I, I, I won't mention the name. But the thing is, you have a possibility concern that you have a defective and defective. But the other possibility could be that you have a possibility 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 so in that sense, you have to take both conditions into place. That was the trick that the question was asking you. So it will be a very simple question, but you did not take the other thing into consideration. And the marks will be in the same way, the marking scheme will be in the same way. In that sense, it should have been defective, not defective, plus non-defective, defective. So this would have been 4 upon 100 into non-defective, how many? 96, right? So 96 upon 99. Achha. Plus, agar aapka pehle non-defective hota, to that would have been 96 upon 100 into 4 upon 99. Usuri if you take out the comment, I think aapka generalized ek term mein aa jayega. I think one person also has um, said this. Uh, good job, my friend. So, end with tarika yehi hai. Thik hai? I thought auto would not matter since the question says we are chosen. No, no, of course it does. You um two items are chosen at random, na, to ye random hai na, to there is a possibility that your first could be non-defective. So oh, sense mein, the order does matter. But one the order would not matter agar without replacement, hota, for example. Kyunki, uh, uh, sorry, agar with replacement hota. because this question says without replacement, to aapke paas sample set come over to uske aap se, your order will definitely matter. Once again, I will state it again. Um, okay, if it was with replacement, then the order would not matter. Okay. Also, I got a notification saying I have 10 minutes left. So in 10 minutes, this will end and you'll have to join in like 30 seconds post it ends. So moving to question four. We have a total of six questions, as by the way. And the last one is a long one. So um, I think I've covered mutually exclusive events a lot. So I'm just going to quickly do this as well. So the question says an end contains three red balls and three red balls and seven black balls. Player A withdraws balls from the end and, uh, consecutively until a red ball is taken. Find the probability from find the probability A selects the red ball. A uh, okay. So the catch in this question is what's tricky in this case is. Pele A select kar rahe, phir B. Phir A, phir B. Or um, we need to find the probability that um, 
it's a red um, find the probability of it's a red one so can anyone tell me the number of cases that we're going to have because it's not a simple question of course this will have um, a bit of working tool and there's no replacement so that's really working with you um, the number of cases that we have is that they haven't mentioned kis bari mein um, player A ko red ball mili bhi. Theek hai? So it could have been like pehli bari mein aajai, tisri bari mein aajai, paanchwi bari mein aajai, saathi bari mein aajai. Mein B ki bari ko include karam, but we're only concerned with A. Theek hai? So um, I, I have seven minutes left in this video. I'll, I'll try to do this quickly if I can. So what's the probability ke aapki pehli bari mein hi aapka um, Red ball ajati player ki. Um, it's three upon ten because there are three red balls total. Red balls uh, total balls are ten, so three upon ten. So now, what's the probability of three? Agar tisri bari mo. So that would imply a um. Say so because it's just until red ball is selected, that would apply. Up to baria chalti rangi, or up to her bari, pichli can pichli wali bari me up to black ball are you. That is the catch here. Okay, so that would as good they but thank you. Tisri bari me, what's the probability agar um player A gets a red ball? That would imply okay. So I'm getting different answers. That would imply okay. Player, uh, player A ki pelly bari me, he got a black ball, so that's seven upon ten. Achha, a player B case may be black ball a yogi. That's six upon nine. Lekin pher tisri bari mein player A ki red ball a yogi. So that's three upon eight. Theka? Now, a player five. Sorry, um, ten five. This would imply ke aapki pichli charo bari mein red a yogi. But B can also, achha, you, uh, Time you said, but B can also collect red ball in 10 2 for P3. So now, the thing is, the question has specifically said game has to play in A and B withdraw, withdraw balls from the end consecutively until a red ball is selected. I don't imply that this bari may I gonna red ball. Uski sari pichri bari you may have black balls. Where because we're only concerned with player A getting a red ball, we are not concerned with B getting a red ball. Right? Because it's not in the reduced sample set that we're interested in. Okay? We're only concerned with A getting a red ball. And game is like that the rest of the game is all black. And it's odd because if you're doing one, three, five, seven. And they've also said that the first time is one. Cool? So, we come to a player five. Pe five, five minutes left. Okay. Uh, first case, you have Wait, black ball, 7 upon 10, 6 upon 9. Ab, the catch is, you have a black ball, aayi thi, so that's 5 upon 8. And um, then, you also need a black ball, so that's 4 upon 7. Now, you need a red ball, aani chahiye, and that is 4, uh, no, that's 3 upon 6. Okay? Now, ab, se, 7 pe aajata. Um, basically, these four terms same. Copy it as you can. Um, you can derive a gen, um, general formula if you want. I, if you want, I can look into this post the tutorial. But I think there should be a general formula for it. There should be. But I, I feel like I am personally more comfortable in sort of doing the work. So, uh, here, your child, uh, three upon. Um, Six. Wait, I ha player seven ka bhi hoga, three upon six, and that is two upon five. Or pair is ka hoga up to kuke red ball a jagi. So that will be three upon four. Okay. Now can I do a um, P9 if possible? I'll let you guys tell me. And if not, why can't I? I 
एब्सोल्युटली वेरी गुड हसन वेरी गुड सो द थिंग इज हमारे पास कोई सात ब्लैक बॉल्स थी और गेम ऐसा है कि अगर एक आपकी रेड बॉल आनी है तो बाकी सारी बारियां आपकी ब्लैक um, होनी चाहिए नव ये बारी पॉसिबल नहीं है क्योंकि आपके पास टोटल है ही सेवन ब्लैक बॉल्स तो आफ्टर दिस ऑल द पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ ए गेटिंग रेड बॉल एग्जॉस्ट और कोई पॉसिबिलिटीज है ही नहीं आपके पास तो इन दैट केस वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द रिड्यूस सैम्पल सेट एंड वी नोटेड डाउन ऑल द प्रोबिलिटीज ऑफ एनी पॉसिबल केस दैट देर कैन बी ठीक है सो um i'm going to do a cop out here i am not going to calculate this but if you want to find the answer for this you just have to add all these steps like p1 plus p3 plus p5 plus p, um p7 ab in sab ko add karenge and that will be your answer if you i am not sure what the answer should be um main wo solution jo jo um, solutions ki pdf hogi na usme main final value kar dunga but i am here to explain to you the concepts so it will be p1 plus p3 plus p5 plus p7 okay um are there any questions because this question is a bit difficult to grasp initially because i have 2 minutes left i will if there are no questions after this i will end the call what's it and then i'm going to start the new call in like post 30 seconds so i'll wait for like 30 seconds if you have any questions or not Take. Say, so I'm going to take this as if we have no questions. So I'm going to stop the screen share, and I'm going to end the call right now. So see you guys in thirty seconds. So welcome back, everyone. It's been a sad thirty seconds. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to start the next question now. I'll let you guys uh, read it if you want. ठीक है प्रोफेशनल It's great because you will hundred percent know whether what you're doing is right or not. So questions like these are your friends. So I show that the numbers reported in the study must be incorrect. ठीक है तो what they're trying अगर हुआ भी incorrect इसका मतलब ये होगा कि हमें कोई formula use करना होगा formulas values input करनी होगी and we have to see whether it makes sense. Like axiom के हिसाब से the pro the total probability can't be greater than one. So that's the Yeah, your intersection should not be greater than the union. Like these were, these might be things that are coming into my mind right now. And so, कोई ऐसा एक एक्सीम होगा um, that might not be fitting. Uh, I'll just, why can't I zoom? Okay. ठीक है. Um, so I'm gonna write all the information here. Um, there, prof, there are three three hundred and twelve professionals. There. Four seventy married people, and their five twenty five college graduates. Say, and forty two are professional college graduates. So P C, the intersection C is forty two. Ah, uh, one forty seven married college, ah uh, married college students. So M C is what one forty seven. Uh, married college graduates. Now it's married professionals. So MP is eighty six. Um, and twenty five married professional college graduates. Okay, so this is twenty five. Show that the numbers reported. The study must be correct. So, um, just to confirm that people are interested in this tutorial, can anyone just tell me the formula that we're going to use here? If anyone can just tell me the formula, that would be great. Um, uh, हम ये try कर सकते 
सकते हैं कि हम इनका वो यूनियन देखें कि पी यूनियन एम यूनियन सी जो है वो वन थाउजेंड से ज्यादा नहीं होने चाहिए लोग टोटल आपको पता चल गया मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ और प्लस ठीक है सारी वैल्यूज ऊपर लिखी हुई हैं um, इसको तो फिलहाल आप छोड़ें क्योंकि उन्होंने कुछ यूनियन के बारे में हमें बताया नहीं है आप मुझे इंडिविजुअली कैलकुलेट करके ओके कैन जस्ट समवन टेल मी व्हाट्स द सम ऑफ ऑल दीज वैल्यूज अच्छा नोट हाउ यू डिवाइडिंग इट बाय थाउजेंड एंड नॉट वन हंड्रेड ठीक है सो बेस्ड वैल्यूज ऊपर लिखी हुई है फॉर्मूला यहाँ लिखा हुआ है एंड एनी वन टेल मी वॉट द सम इज आई वॉन्ट टू सी वॉट एग्जियम दिस गोस अगेंस्ट जिसकी वजह से मैं आपसे कह रहा हूँ कि आप टीम में सब करके बता दें कि इसका क्या आंसर होना चाहिए या आ रहा है One zero five eight, perfect. That yeah, that goes against axiom. Uh, that goes against the the most fundamental axiom that um, it should the probability should not be greater than one. Well, some would be more than one. Bilkul. But so great. The class the class is interested. I makes me very happy. I I told you there would be some easy questions here. So this is one of them. So this is the last question. Personally, this is my favorite. because this involves a lot of um, variance in answers so there is a very high probability that the method i'm going to use might not be something that you're going to use but the beauty of it is it's a showing question your method will be 100% right if you're getting the right answer i hope i hope um i had a friend who once proved to me who is equals to one so is it the class proof be asked with that being said um ab I would love to see आप लोग अपने method use करें whatever you're comfortable with. I'm going to do my method and we're going to see whether you're getting the right answer from this or not. So, a uh, poker dice is um is played by simul. This is the last question, by the way. A uh, poker dice is played by simultaneously rolling five dices. So there are five dices. Three, four, five. Or उनमें से छह values हो सकती हैं. छह possible values for each dice. Um, show that. The probability when you roll a dice, the probability that there is no two alike. ठीक है, सही है. Um, it makes sense. पहले कोई मुझे ये बता सकता है कि अगर मेरे पास पांच dices हैं और उनमें से छह possible values हो सकती हैं, um, what are the total number of possible combinations that I can have? मैं ये probability पे नहीं जा रहा, मैं अभी आपसे पूछ रहा हूँ, what is the total number of um, combinations that we can have? that all um basically they are going to say is her value is different every value that we are going to have is going to be different from the other so agar main koi ek arbitrary ek dice lu usme kitni possible values aa sakti hain che dusre us pe kitni aa sakti hain नोट अगर मैंने एक पे फिक्स कर दिया तो दूसरे पे वो वाली वैल्यू नहीं आएगी तो एक माइनस आएगी फाइव फोर ऐसे पे विद द नेक्स्ट डाइस फोर थ्री टू सो सिक्स इंटू फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू थ्री इंटू टू वट एवर दैट आंसर इज 
divided by 6 to the power of 5. I'm going to calculate it right now and see if I am getting the right answer or not. So I'm getting 0 0.09259. Um, 0 0.09259. Open Calic Power. Oh, sir. Perfect. So, yeah, so this method could work. Can anyone tell me? Um, you can just write yes or no, just as a poll. If you have a method, you can use a different method. You can use a C, a P, a Q, 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 Use the same method. Okay. So, yeah. so now part B is what's the probability of you having one pair? Now this makes it a bit interesting. So now because they've added these restrictions, that's why I like my method. Um, probability of one pair. One pair would imply you have these um, four five dices. It means like we 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 have two dices only the same value IP. First of all, they haven't specified concept dice may concept with two dices only that will have the same um that will have the same sort of value. So the first permutation that uh, combination that I need to figure out is if concept two dices only that will have the same value. So uskili I have total five dices on which two will have the same value five C2. Okay, five C2 clarify kardia ki sabse pehli to we clarify dice The next thing I have to figure out is value kya Like if they, if those two dice have the same value, what will the value be? And because it could be any of those six values, it could be six C1. So five C2 basically tells if you want, I can um I can wait I can write this here. This tells me um, which dice, which two dice is actually, which two dice. And this tells me what number. Okay. Now I'm still not done because I have three other dices that could have potentially any value that there could be. So now um, I'm not concerned about the order. It doesn't matter what order. What is um, dice, for example, how many values can this um, dice take? Could be five. Or okay. similarly, uh, this can have four. because they do two alike, just by the way, because they've mentioned that there's only one pair, or sari distinct values. So egg value chali gai, jo same hogi. Egg value many specify kardi, wo chali gai. Two values khatam. Bachi kitni char values. Char okay, likewise yaha kitni. So this could also be written as um five C three. I'm trying to get you away because this is what I prefer. I'm trying to get you away from the formula of five C three. I'm trying to logically tell you uh, why I'm doing this. Um Z Khan raised their hand. You you can ask the question. Yeah. मुनीब भाई मैंने पूछना था कि जब हम लोगों ने पहले 5c2 किया फिर 6c1 किया दैट मींस दैट वी चोज एनी टू डाइसेस आउट ऑफ 5 और फिर हमने कहा कि उनमें 6c1 हो सकता है अब जब मैं तीसरे तीसरे नंबर पे आता हूं तो फिर वहां पर भी तो 6c1 हो सकता था ना तो वो क्यों नहीं किया हमने लाइक like, तीसरे पे भी हो सकता था चौथे पे भी हो सकता था लाइक like, 6c1 फिर उसके बाद uh, 5c1 लाइक like, उसमें भी तो फिर हो सकता था बिकॉज़ वो पहली बात तो वो, वो 6 नहीं होगा क्योंकि आपने वो पहले दो डाइसेस में वो रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया ना वो तो वो 5c1 4c1 3c1 क्यों नहीं डाला हमने लाइक जो कि ऑप्शन है उसके आप कर सकते हैं बात वही है नहीं तो सेम नहीं आता फिर मैंने करके देखा है वो आंसर सेम ही नहीं आता उसका 5c1 इज 5 फिर 4c1 इज 4 3c1 इज 3 तो मैंने भी तो यही लिखा है 5 into 4 into 3 नहीं तो वो तो सही है पर उसके बाद हमने इन तीनों डाइसेस को क्यों नहीं देख रहे लाइक इनमें क्यों नहीं हम लोग लाइक हमारे पास पांच डाइसेस थे ना तो फाइव एक और क्यों नहीं कर रहे लाइक थर्ड डाइस पे फाइव आए 
या फिर फोर डाइस पे फाइव आए या उसके बाद डाइस पे वो है वो क्यों नहीं देखने हम लोग बिकॉज़ दे मेंशन के आपका एक पेयर है ना सो द रीजन इट ऑल थ्री कैंट हैव फाइव इज बिकॉज़ ऑल ऑफ देम हैव टू बी सेपरेट वैल्यूज वरना तो फिर आपके पेयर ज्यादा भी तो पॉसिबल हो सकते हैं ना अगर मैंने एक पेयर की रिस्ट्रिक्शन में दी हुई है मतलब ऑल दी अदर्स हैव टू बी डिस्टिंक्ट वैल्यूज दे कैंट बी द सेम नंबर तो उस सेंस में मैंने एक वैल्यू पहले फिक्स कर दी दूसरी वैल्यू तीसरे वाले डाइस पे फिक्स कर दी अब जो चौथा डाइस होगा दैट वोंट हैव एनी ऑफ दोस प्रीवियस वैल्यूज इसकी वजह से वो कम हो गया फाइव से फिर वो फोर हो गया दिस दिस दैट आंसर द क्वेश्चन नो एक्चुअली जब हम लोगों ने ये वाले निकाल रहे थे तो वी डिड और वी डिड वाज के में फाइव पांच में से दो डाइसेस नहीं और फिर हमने कहा कि उन दो में से छह पॉसिबिलिटीज आ सकती हैं सो व्हेन आई एम गोइंग टू व्हेन आई एम गोइंग टू थर्ड डाइस व्हाई एंड आई कंसीडरिंग के तीन डाइसेस मेरे पास तीन डाइसेस बची हुई हैं उन तीन में से मैं कोई एक डाइस लूं फिर उन तीन डाइसेस के ऊपर मेरे पास फाइव पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं तो फॉर द थर्ड पोजीशन व्हाई आरंट वी डूइंग 3c1 5c1 फॉर द थर्ड पोजीशन अब यू आर सेइंग अच्छा जो आप कह रहे हैं 3c1 5c1 आर यू जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द थर्ड डाइस और द थर्ड फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ डाइस ये मुझे कंफर्म करके और फॉर फॉर जस्ट द थर्ड डाइस तो उसके बाद बिकॉज़ लाइक फॉर जस्ट द थर्ड डाइस हम जब फूड आइस पे आएंगे देन वी विल से के हमारे पास दो डाइस बची हुई है उन दो में से हम लोग कोई एक डाइस ले रहे हैं और उन उस डाइस के ऊपर हमारे पास चार पॉसिबिलिटीज हैं फॉर द नंबर्स बिकॉज़ दो निकल चुकी हुई हैं तो वो क्यों नहीं कर रहे हम लोग लाइक सबको मल्टीप्लाई क्यों नहीं कर रहे वो हम इसलिए नहीं कर सकते बेस्ड ऑन द फैक्ट दैट उन्होंने हमें एक एक हद तक एक फ्री हैंड दिया हुआ है बिकॉज़ इन दिस केस राइट द पोजीशन डजंट मैटर ठीक है um the position of the dice in 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 the other three cases they don't matter so uspe we don't have to fret over um what order they're in the only thing we have to figure out is what number they're in or if we agar hum koi c values pe lagayenge na that will um the only combination that we'll have to be uh, that we have to take care of is um like the number that they're getting one thing i will say right now is if this is not making sense um yeah aapki confusion to abhi bhi hai na Wait till post the tutorial. I will. I may have said one on one. Is we discuss later. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Sure. Thank you so much. I, I'm Thank sorry you. if this isn't very clear. Uh, clear right now, but we'll get it resolved tonight. That's one thing I can yeah. give. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. I'm. I'm sorry as well. So, um, are there any other questions as to why I did what I did? Okay. So, this should be. Um, Wait, where is my black pen? Yeah. So five C two into six C one into five C three. Uh, can you kindly explain it? Five C three. Let me just confirm one thing. The five C three name. Ah, the five C three name. See, that is why I, I hate using C. Yeah, actually five P three. Yeah, yeah five P three. Yeah. Ah, ye mujhe abhi aanda hoga. Ah, this is five P three. Is it my confirm? Banana chahiye. This is five P three. मैं ये सोच रहा था सी थ्री तो टेन होता है लेकिन ये तो हो सकता है सो दिस इज़ थ्री ठीक है अगेन व्हाट आई कैन से टू यू इज़ प्लीज़ डोंट ऑन लाइक द नोटेशन सी और पी जस्ट फोकस ऑन लॉजिकल सेंस के आपने ये दो रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर दिया फर्स्ट डिसाइड करने वो दो नंबर सेम होंगे विच विल बी द फिर आपको डिसाइड करना है कि वो कौन सा नंबर होगा उनमें ठीक है वंस यू हैव टेकन दैट इनटू कंसीडरेशन द द रिमेनिंग डाइसेस दैट यू हैव देयर थ्री अब आपको इन थ्री में अब डिसाइड करना है कि वो कौन से नंबर्स होंगे नोटिंग द फैक्ट दैट देयर इज ओनली वन पेयर नन ऑफ दोस नंबर्स कैन बी द सेम दे हैव टू बी डिस्टिंक्ट नंबर्स तो आपके पास बचे फाइव नंबर्स राइट तो कोई एक डाई पे मैंने फाइव ले लिया कि इस पे अम ओके परफेक्ट um usme uh, five possibilities hai ek kam ho gaya to so four possibilities similarly there three possibilities theek hai i hope there is no confusion after this um uh, then okay no worries so um part c pe aa jata acha can anyone confirm if i'm getting the right answer or not um 10 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 3600 3600 divided by 6 about 5 पर्टिकुलरली फॉर दिसल्ट इन दिडल
सही पार्ट सी पे आ जाते हैं क्वेश्चन पढ़ा ही नहीं पार्ट सी एस टू पेयर्स ठीक है सो फॉर टू पेयर्स आई एम गोन यूज द सेम लॉजिक दैट आई डेड बिफोर अच्छा फर्स्ट वेन आई गो टू दैकेंड पेयर ना सेकेंड पेयर को बाद में देखते हैं पहले एक पेयर पे जाते हैं और फिर दूसरे पेयर पे देखते हैं नोट नॉट जैसे पिछली दफा तीन आपके पास फ्री डाइसेस थी ना इस बार खाली एक होंगी बिकॉज देर टू पेयर सो देर फोर डाइसेस में कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन लगी हुई है अपर वन विल बी द फ्री वन और एंड दैट फ्री वन विल विल बी डिस्टिंग फ्रॉम द अदर फोर ठीक है सो फर्स्ट इज गो फ्रॉम वन फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पेयर एंड देन गो टू द सेकेंड वन Using the same logic that um, sort of we um, did before, right? Which uh, two dices will get? That will have the first pair. That's five C two. Which value will be same six C one? Actually, you know what? Let's not go into the value right now. Okay, what should happen? First, let's also see that if I have these two restrictions, I have to see what can happen. The other dice can happen. दूसरी डाइस बची कितनी वैल्यूज थ्री क्योंकि मैंने दो फिक्स कर दिए उनको कैटर कर दिया है दूसरी जो दूसरा पेयर होगा दूसरी पेयर हैज थ्री पॉसिबल ऑप्शंस तीन पॉसिबल ऑप्शंस में आई हैव टू रिस्ट्रिक्ट टू सो यहां पे थ्री सी टू आ गया नाउ द रीजन आई एम एक्यूमुलेटिंग द वैल्यूज इज बिकॉज़ एसेंशियली द वैल्यूज आर फ्रॉम द सेम सेट इफ दैट मेक्स सेंस लाइक छह वैल्यूज हैं उन छह वैल्यूज में दो वैल्यूज पे रिस्ट्रिक्शन लगेगा बाकी चार आपकी फ्री हो सकती है इसलिए आई एम टेकिंग दिस एज अ होल एंड आई एम सेइंग सिक्स सी टू कि उन छह वैल्यूज में से कोई दो वैल्यूज होंगी दैट आई एम फिक्सिंग और उनके पेयर्स होंगे ठीक है बाकी तीन कोई भी और वैल्यूज हो सकती है सही है बाकी चार बल्कि तो नाउ वन फ्री वेरिएबल आई हैव इज द लास्ट डाइस and the last i will have to only cater to the value that's left acha maine do values fix kar di to bachi kitni char possible values so yahan pe char aa jayega so this should be um what would be my answer um i was i'm seeing also 5c2 6c1 5c1 3c2 into 4 i i'm not sure whether that's the right answer or not 6 30 or mere usme kitna aa raha hai Fifteen. I over counting. Um, for I a few people, I think there's a bit of over counting. Because at the end of the day, वो आप double counting कर रहे होंगे अगर आप six c one करेंगे और फिर five c one करेंगे, ठीक है? On at the end of the day, you still have two values that you need to pick. Uh, pick out of um uh, those six values that you're fixing. So ah, uh, you you could resolve to just doing six c two. Okay. सही है? अच्छा one thing I like doing. अगर बहुत ज्यादा आपके पास सैम्पल सेट्स ना हो ना यू लिस्ट डाउन ऑल द पॉसिबल वैल्यूज एंड क्योंकि एसेंशियली आप ही कर रहे होंगे कि आप पहले उन छह वैल्यूज आप छे पिक कर रहे होंगे और फिर उन पांच में से ना और डबल काउंटिंग वही वैल्यूज जो आपने एक दफा पिक किए थे वो दोबारा उनको गिन रहे होंगे तो देयर इज अ सेंस ऑफ डबल काउंटिंग व्हेन यू आर पिकिंग टू वैल्यूज व्हेन यू आर फिक्सिंग टू वैल्यूज तो बेस्ड ऑन दिस बिकॉज़ वी ओनली नीड टू फिक्स टू वैल्यूज ना वी कैन जस्ट सिंपली डू इट बाय 62 अगेन इफ देयर इज एनी कंफ्यूजन आई विल रिजॉल्व टू इट पोस्ट दिस ट्यूटोरियल ठीक है बट द एसेंस इज यू वुड बी ओवर काउंटिंग इफ यू डू 61 5c1 ठीक है so this should be the answer uh, to the question i'll just confirm whether this is the right one or not 5c2 into 3c2 into 6c2 into 4 that's 1800 1800 into 6 to the power 5 that's giving me 0.3 0.2314 ha theek hai sahi right I I hope I hope I'm uh, making sense right now. Again, um, one thing I am more than willing to do is if you guys are having problems in terms of the tutorial questions, um, just drop me an email. I'll try to have extended office hours tomorrow so that we can go over particularly um tutorial questions um or individual concerns if you have any. Ah, uh, part D is saying what's the probability? of you having three alike acha 
um, by D is we need to find the probability of having three alike. So three alike would basically imply you have five, then we say yeah. So like how we fix the dices, right? Abhi, instead of doing 5c2, we're gonna do 5c3. It's going, it's going to um, essentially fix the dice. It will cause three more dices only. Pera, uh, what value could it be? Out of six potential values, it could be any one of them. So it's 6c1 or sensible. Now you have two remaining dices and these two remaining dices just need to be a value different from the value that we're fixing, but it could be any other thing otherwise. So one minus idea, you have five possible values. Ho sakti hai. Iska ho gaya, but with the next die, we're going to have four possible values. So this will be 5C3, 6C1, 5P, 5P2 maybe, I'm not sure, but what, how I would write it is 5 into 4. If there, particularly to uh, part D, is there any, if there's any confusion, please let me know. I don't think there's any other question. So, maybe question side will be question. so part E, what is the probability of you getting a full house? So basically full houses, you have um, three cards. Um, from what I remember, full house, you have three cards um, that are of the same uh, number and you have the uh, pass cards out there now so you have three cards of the same number and two cards of a different uh, number okay ha, triple a uh, so ha, triple a double a, absolutely um that's what a full house is so again mujhe, i said note one thing i i just realized this in um in this part there's no fixed value well, there's no free value. Sorry, there's no free value. So, jo bhi hum permutations karenge na, we'll just have to resort to these two different sets. We don't have to accommodate any other separate value. So, we should enter it in a 5p4, 5p3. We don't have to do that, uh, I think, in, um, in this. So, yeah. so, first, let's go to the, just a, uh, I love how the way he put it, uh, triple A, double B. I'm going to write it here. So, first, let's figure out this triple A. So teen values we have to fix. We've done this before five C three. What number can it be? Um, six C one. Um, ठीक है. अब उसके बाद अब उसके बाद the only thing अच्छा इसमें अब six C one five C one होगा because in this case uh, in this case it matters um, uh, because they've said that there are different um, diff it's a different set altogether. Okay, so this may have to be 5C1. Kar sakta. I know for a fact that there will be questions after this, and if they are, I am more than willing to hear it post this. Okay, Mujhe pata hai, there will be questions after this. So, 5C3 in the ka fix, ho gaya. 6C1 is the number. Ab, in me, ye do hai na. Usuli pe, they have to be, hame koi order mein matter nahi karna. कि ये कौन से दो फिक्स डाइसेस होंगे जैसे याद है हम भी हम पहले फिक्स करते थे कि डाइसेस कितने हैं फिर हम नंबर पे जाते थे इस पे वी डोंट हैव टू लुक एट द डाइसेस क्योंकि बची ही खाली दो स्लॉट्स हैं आपके पास देयर इज नो फ्री वेरिएबल दैट यू कैन सॉर्ट ऑफ मूव अराउंड इसके हम पहले कहते थे कि कौन से दो डाइसेस होंगे देयर इज ओनली टू डाइसेस हियर सो द ओनली थिंग वी हैव टू वरी अबाउट इज कि ये वैल्यू कौन सी होगी ये नंबर कौन सा होगा सो उस सेंस में एक वैल्यू फिक्स हो गई वो चली गई बची खाली एक सो वी हैव टू राइट दिस एज um 5c1 any questions on why i'm not fixing any dice position um time you got it right 5c3 into 6 into 5 perfect because i will say this again there is no um free um dice position it's all because who name a restriction they have punch dice is key in a key there is no free uh, variable, so we don't have to account for the position of dice or what dice that we fix it. So, um, part F, um, four alike. Achha, is a free variable. Hai. Four alike. So, 5p4, so, what are the dice? 6c1, what number? Hoga? Ab to, it's um, pretty straightforward. Ab, Although it is, this will give the same value, the logic is different here. Ab isme you have this free variable, but there's no position for it to move. Kali ekhi value, uh, ekhi wo hai, uh, the number. So isme bhi hume, all we have to do is just look at 
what value it will be, which will be five C one. It will be the same answer as before, but the logic is different. Take okay? a just note how the logic is different while you have the same answer. Okay. Okay. So, part J. The last thing that we have to account for is uh, what's the probability of you having five Li, which is six. Well, that's straightforward, right? It's six, six C one. There's no dice position. Well, later cut So we just have to look at the number that we have to account for. So that's six. So that was easy. So I think with that, we're I, I think we're done with the tutorial. What time is it? It's eight o eight. Yeah. So we've crossed an hour. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, um, whoever has questions, um, post the tutorial, just send me a private message like on zoom and I'll just stay behind. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Thank you so much as well. Um, I hope all, I hope the course is doing like you're doing okay in the course. Uh, it's, um, I understand that the, the online setting isn't ideal, but we hope that, um, like we can help you as much as we can. Um, because we want to help you as much as we can. And at the same time, for those that have campus accommodation, um, you're more than welcome to meet me um, during inside the campus as well. I'm more than welcome to entertain any request if it's in, uh, inside the campus. Okay. So I'm going to end the, um, I'm going to end the recording now.